Jonathan of Joey's Deli, welcome to Live Your Life with Purpose podcast. I'm uh, I'm really excited to talk. Um, you know, we've had a little bit of a brief conversation, and uh, really excited to hear a little bit more about your story. But certainly, you know, talk about uh, the deli that you just opened up, and uh, you know, excited to hear how things are going for you. Well, thanks for having me. I uh, appreciate the invite. Yeah, so, yeah. How, how long have you ha, ha, was starting a deli something, you know, was that always something that you had kind of thought about? Was uh, owning a business something that you kind no, of had no, ever thought about? Know, I just had we had some friends over last night and we were actually talking about, you know, being someone with life goals and whatnot. And I I can honestly say I've never really been that type of person. I've never had goals and whatnot like yeah. that. Uh, so it's kind of just something that presented itself at the right time, right place. And, um, seems to be working out. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's, that's fantastic. And so, uh, do you have a background in color? Cause I know that you prepare a lot of the, a lot of the food there and it's fantastic. So you, so you have a, uh, a culinary background. I've been cooking, uh, you know, since I graduated high school, I went to culinary school. Uh, and I, I never graduated culinary school for college. I just uh, ended up in a really good uh, internship and stayed there and and uh, learned by doing. I, it's one yeah. of the careers that you know you you learn better in the field than you do in school. You can learn term terminology in the school, but you can't learn actual cooking unless you're doing it. You know. Well, just like anything else, practice makes perfect. So yeah. the more that you do something and the more that you understand it, then you get to, you know, kind of refine it. You get to yeah. do things that you like the way that, you know, and, but, you know, having a little bit of that understand, you know, that education, I'm sure just understanding how things react, what they do, sure. you know, I'm sure helps, but it you know, you by get, no means hurts, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. But you get to see all of that, you know, in practical experience anyway, yeah. which is fantastic. And so, what do you love most about like you know I love so I enjoy I enjoy cooking but I love to bake like for myself getting lost in you know kind of baking cupcakes or a cake or you know having some of that fun like what do you enjoy like what's the um what about cooking gives you some you know yeah freedom um I get to create what I want. So like I do make a lot of specialty meals for various people and, you know, low carb meals or whatever. And, um, you know, they don't always tell me what they want other than a low carb meal. So I just kind of, you know, I'll have an idea in the beginning, I'm going to start with chicken or steak and use this vegetable. And it always turns out being something that it's not what it started being. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It doesn't, and that's yeah. okay. it just is, as long as it tastes good in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's it. And request something specific, then, you know, then that's not okay. But <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's, and that's a fun thing about cooking, right? Is that like all of a sudden you get to experiment because there's really nothing wrong, especially if it tastes good, yeah. then it's like, okay, well, you know, every day can be a new adventure because you're trying something else. Maybe you're trying oh, a new spice. So you're trying a new, yeah. yeah. There's no real, and when people say, oh, I can't cook, I'm like, well, there, you know, yeah, you can, you just haven't tried, you know, just, just don't burn it. And, <laughs> yeah. There's no rules in cooking to speak of, you know. You just, but it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of ability, you know, to handle pressure, right? Like, because, you know, there's yeah. a degree of pressure, especially cooking in a restaurant. I'm sure there's, there's a, a pressure there's a, the there's a, yeah, there's a lot more Your pressure. Okay is a deadline. You know, I, I used to work with this one chef and uh, he looked at me one day. He's like, John, your whole day is a deadline. And I'm like, you're right. You know, I, you need to do this by this time, this by this time. You're literally your whole day is a deadline. You know, mm. you, you know, doing weddings, you have to have everything done by a certain time. And then then the wedding starts and then this happens at this time. And it's just your whole day is a deadline. So you're yeah. all it takes yeah it takes and you have to understand all of that well and you know and i and you say that you don't have necessary or hadn't thought about future goals and stuff like that but just being in this business and the way that you do things you kind of always have to think a little bit ahead and then and then execute you know kind of in in the immediate so you're always so you may not realize it but i'm sure you you're still thinking a little bit in the future because that's just the 
uh, a tendency. Another guy actually back when, you know, in my younger years uh, complimented me on that. He's like, that's what I like about you, John. You're always thinking two, three steps ahead. You're thinking before the problem arises, you have a backup plan. You yeah. Know? Well, because like lots that. of things. Yeah. Right. Like I'm sure lots of things go awry uh, while you're, while you're oh, in yeah. the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, you know, that I like the challenge of it, I guess. Um, you know, I, I took a, a small hiatus from cooking for a few years uh, and became a machinist, if you will, and uh, yeah. ran a machine doing CNC work. And um, it just wasn't for me. I I, uh, I don't know. I, I like being active and, in, in, like, running around this place like a monkey. Like, it's fun for me. That's fun. Well, and that's that I think that, you know, is a great thing for people to really understand, too, is that we all have personality types. We all have interests that lies in various different things. And the more that you do the things that give you excitement, even though, you know, there's days that are tough, right? There's days oh, yeah. that are super stressful and all of that other stuff. But you still get to do the things that you enjoy. And so that makes it a little bit easier instead of Absolutely. doing things that you don't typically enjoy. You know, I got out of this industry because I thought, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side, you know? And uh, so I tried the different career and it's like, I, I realize now that this is what I'm meant to be doing. This is this is what I love to do. This is yeah. it. And, yeah. And I love it. And it, it's even a different beast when it's for yourself, you know? Oh, absolutely. I, I, it's entirely different. I. I have everything I have is into this place, my whole heart and soul and, and my family, like they yeah. all love it as well. And they're into it and they work here for the most part. Um, all of them work here except one and one, he will be working here uh, yeah. Memorial Day weekend. So that's awesome. It, that's, a, that's awesome. and and so now, you know, taking that leap to start a business, um, but also during this whole time i mean what was what was that like for you because i often you know everyone that i talk to you know uh, there's a there's a famous steve harvey quote that well i don't know how famous it is but i like the way that he says it because he's like at, at some point in your time you know if you want thing these things for yourself you have to take a leap um and so you did just that and it's a scary leap right like this is not yeah, an easy sure. thing um, to so this kind of came to be because of the pandemic. Um, mm. I was machining and I got laid off. You know, I, I was comfortable there, yet not happy by any means. Yeah, yeah. Not, I didn't have enough confidence in my machining ability um, to go to a different place and learn something else. You know, I just, again, it wasn't for me, you know. So I kind of was at a dull standstill in life. And like, I talked to Joanna, Joey yeah. um, about everything. And, you know, she's like, it's up to you. You do whatever you want. And and then I got laid off and then that kind of pushed me to do something, you know? Um, and that's why I say everything just fell into place. I got laid off. I came for a coffee. Um, I saw the place for rent. And as soon as I got laid off, I started doing meals for area gyms mm. uh, you know for aspiration i i was going there um and lunacy out in the uh, east long meadow i was yep. in there um so i instantly started doing that for some hustle money basically you know yeah yeah i saw the for it just kind of turned into I wish i had had a storefront to sell my meals and that's how it came kind of came to be that's so. fantastic and it really you know and it's nice that it, you know because it's such a, a great community, you know, you mentioned lunacy and aspirations, which are, you know, amazing, you know, gyms in the area that, you know, you have a specific people, you know, you have specific people there that are taking care of themselves, but yet maybe don't have time for, you know, meal prep and, yeah. and, and, and to do that. And, you know, it doesn't have to be specific for individuals at a gym. I mean, our, our health starts with the food that we eat. Absolutely. And so, you know, a lot of us, you know, can't find time within the week to, to maybe, you know, kind of alter some of the things that we're doing or, you know, think about that. And so it's great to have 
a place, an alternative where people can go. Really, it's just I have deli cases, you know. Yeah. Um, one of them is filled with the whole top shelf is filled with fully cooked prepared dinners. Um, they range from, you know, healthy, maybe not so healthy, you know. Um, sure. Yep. But they change on a, I say daily basis, but say I make 10 of each meal. When they're gone, they're gone. They're replaced with another 10 or 12, you know. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. And so they change almost daily you know um which is great yeah so you know people can come in here twice two three times a week and get get different meals each time you yeah, know yeah, yeah um and then and then we have items that you can kind of build your own dinner and put it together um everything sold separately um and then we have a bunch of cold salads and in our cold salads we have like roasted vegetables steamed uh asparagus so we have there's all sorts of from healthy to not healthy items i mean we have yeah, our, yeah. our fat free carb free carrot cakes and whoopie pies i'm joking on the fat free and carb <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to be healthy to come come eat here by any <clears throat> well that no and that's the best thing about it right because even even on our own personal journeys regardless of what you're doing you know we always want a variety of food yeah. and we want a variety of options because there might be days that, hey, I want, you know, like I said, cupcakes or cakes or something along those yeah. lines to celebrate something. And a lot it's of nice to be able to have all of that. About their health, you know, they just don't. They they come in here and they load up on, on that stuff and it's OK with me. It's good. Why yeah. It, yeah. Know? No. Yeah. No. And it's it's a uh, um, uh, it's just nice to have great food that yeah. is local, that is made fresh, that people can come and and pick up and especially during the pandemic right like there's you saw lots of different varieties of people not being able to go out to traditional restaurants and things along those lines and so it is nice to be able to have a place where you can stop in and you know pick pick food up and the thing with the pandemic too is you know this that if anything i wouldn't say it helped me but you know it wouldn't affect this as much because I don't even have one table to eat in here. Like this yeah. is fully pick up and take out, you know, you can is... order your food and you leave. Um, it's ideal for a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you, do you also have individuals that you do one-on-one -on -one work with? So like if there was a family that wanted to come in and, you know, put together some things for a week. Do you also do that or? Well, I will. I would do anything. No one has come to me yet. Gotcha. Um, you have a couple people who call me and request, you know, all right, on Friday, can I get 10 meals, no carbs, this or that? Yeah. And, uh, I absolutely do do that sort of stuff. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do anything anybody wants. I, I mean. Yeah, well, it's I nice to be able to. Happen back here. I'm happy to do it. I just. Yeah. Yeah, you have the facility, you have the ability, and yeah, yeah. Uh, you know you can put out some good food and, yeah. and kind and of while go from not, there. Not um, in gyms yet. Like this whole thing started from my gym meals. Um, yeah, it's too small. Like my, I have serious lack of refrigeration, and it, and my goal was to get you know not even stop doing them, but I had to stop doing them, and I I ran out of room. Mm. So I'm too busy, I guess, you know, to do, to do the gyms. Um, but I'm working on getting more refrigeration and, you know, getting the room and whatnot to get back into doing the gym meals for the gyms. Yeah. Yeah. That's, Which that's is, and it's a good alternative and, you know, it's a great space and, you know, there's a, there's a variety of, 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 of facilities in the area that you know really could benefit from from things like that yeah, and, sure. and regardless of the facilities i mean it's just people in general like it's nice to be able to have those options absolutely yeah. i'd like to be able to get it delivered to them you know so they don't sure. have to come here necessarily well and that's the fun thing about all of this right is is that where you started uh and then where you're going to continue to evolve and finish is you know, is not going to be the same thing. So it's nice to be able to kind of take this and, and say, Hey, as long as there's a market for it, you, yeah. and, and you can do it and it's a, you know, and it's effective then, then, Hey, let's explore it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's exciting. I, I don't know. I've never done anything like this for myself before. So yeah. And running a business is, you know, versus working for somebody, it, provides a lot more challenges right like i mean yeah. you don't um, get to just you know the cooking is great but that's a 
it's a small part of what you're doing so on a daily basis now, head, right? I pictured this, me doing all the cooking, um, most of my own dishes and, you know, have a counter person. And that was basically it. And it turns out, you know, I have to have a dishwasher. I have to have help. You know, I have a guy, a friend of mine who does a lot of the cooking with me, a lot of it. Yeah. You know, he does I can't yeah. say most of it because I do a good chunk of it as well. But he does a lot of it. He's helping you out with it, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I couldn't have done it. In hindsight, I couldn't have done it without him, you know? Yeah. And I yeah. really, he came came to me, or I went to him last minute, spur of the moment, last minute. I started getting uh, a little nervous being like, am I going to be able to do all this cooking myself right away? And there's no way, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, I would have been having 80-hour work weeks from the, the word go. Yeah. And, so I'm so grateful. I, I asked him and I'm so and, grateful for him. You know, I, and, and that's a great just kind of point that I think is 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 awesome to make. Well, you know, this is this is yours, right? Like this is this is your business, this is your thing, but like we need help with all of these things, yeah. right? Like, you know, we we uh uh this journey is ours alone, but we can't do any of it by ourselves. Well, and I, I so I'm with that too. I, in the beginning, yeah. I had to really let go um, and change my ways. Like, you know, teaching someone to make my sandwiches. It's like, I had to like literally walk away from that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly how I would make it yet. They're not wrong you know so well and that's it you know you hold things very near and dear and this is really yeah. personal because this is your business it's and my angel. yeah 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 and so but 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 again you you know just like anything else you have to allow people to have some freedom to yes. and that's uh, important to especially figure. for the cook like yeah. if you don't give you know if i didn't give him any freedom he's he's just like this is not fun why do i yeah. want to do this for him you know i can follow i can follow a recipe and you know but give me the the basics of what you're trying to achieve but yeah. you know realize that i have talents as well yeah and there are <laughs> some, some things that him and i him or just me we create a recipe and like those items i expect the recipe to be followed every time yeah but he has plenty room you know, as do I to be creative, like all our meals, none of those have a recipe except one. One yeah. is a burrito bowl, a chicken burrito bowl. We're like known for it and we have it all the time. And that one thing I want done the same every time. Other than that, yeah. the meals, whatever you feel like cooking that day, I'm okay with, you know, we discuss it and, you know, I've yeah. shot down some things and he tells me that I'm stupid for thinking that too, you know? Yeah. Like, and that's just, you know, and it's good banter, but yeah. that's also important too, right? Because we all have ideas and sometimes those ideas, um, they're, not maybe, <laughs> they're not always good or they could be better. And yeah, so yep. it's nice to have, you know, somebody to be able to bounce ideas off yeah. of, be able to sure. bounce some thoughts off of, because just like anything else in this, in this diverse world that we live in, we only see our lane yeah. and, and it's hard to see out of that lane sometimes. So when you have somebody else who sees things a little bit different, then it's then you you know potentially come to a better outcome and so Absolutely. that's really where the fun sure. comes from yeah it's easy to have good people around you because like you just said i'm only one person only with one vision you know it, it's great to see another vision around here for sure yeah and people you know it's not like anyone's coming to take over your business no, it's just no. a matter of you know hey like people are 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 also excited to 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 see it grow and to see yep. it flourish and, Some of the uh, best ideas came from Joey, actually herself. You know, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? So, and so, what was the inspiration? You know, so uh, so you named the deli after uh, Joanna. after after Joanna. Yeah, she's uh, we're we're engaged. She's not my wife yet. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, congratulations. Yeah, I just saw that uh, a little while ago, right? Yeah. 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 Excellent. Well, congratulations on Thank that you. and uh, and moving forward. But what was the inspiration for, you know, to put, you know, her name on, uh, uh, on the know. business? I, you know, I love her and um, I don't really know. She deserves it. You know, she's a kind. I'm sure she's given you a lot of inspiration along the way. And I'm sure yeah, it's, um, it's probably a way to, to kind I of mean, pay some of that back. Help me also become the person I am as well. You know, yeah. so, I don't know. I just love her and her family and, and, uh, 
She deserves yeah. it. And it's just a good name, you know, Joey's. I, yeah, no, I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Family friend one day, like, never spoke to Joanna and one day just called her Joey. And I wasn't even around back then. And um, she was a very young girl. And um, and then I just love the name. <laughs> I love calling her Joey. <laughs> so I call her Joey, too. And, yeah. uh, and so Joey's, it just it flows. It's a good name. So. Yeah. And uh, so I would imagine as, you know, being in the restaurant business, there's some wild stories, some things that you can share, some things that you probably can't share. An interesting industry to be in and grow up in. I, um, it's led me down, like you said, some, some stories I don't want to share. Uh, yeah. Down some dark paths in life. Um, and I, I can't say that, you know, that I, I, I'm in recovery from drugs and alcohol and uh yeah it, yeah and, uh, i can't say that my career has led me there but it certainly did not help me didn't help uh, being yeah, in this, like yeah the stress the pressure you know um i was a young kid and i was running a log cabin um and i was pretty young and i had a immense amount of pressure on me yeah and, you know i would let it all go at the end of the day with some beers and and other fine substances and yeah and it, became a major issue in my life. Well, and I think that that, you know, in, in, in congratulations on the recovery. Uh, I think that, you know, that's an amazing story uh, that anytime you're able to push past something that has, um, you know, kind of a hold on you is, uh, is a credit to who you are and, and those around you as well, because again, you can't do that alone. And yeah. so, but it is your journey. It is your, your fight to get through it. And so congratulations with all of that. But, you know, I think that it also goes down to the fact of, you know, you probably didn't have healthy habits and routines that allowed you to, you know, kind of relieve that stress that's, that's a in, lot. A, in, a, in, in a different way, maybe. So, and I'm finding that like, you know, now I, um, so I have two parts of my life. There's like the old John and the new John and, uh, you know, I, a major thing happened to create the new John. And, yeah. uh, and prior to that, I, I was not a healthy person. And so the new John, you know, I, I only worked at a deli since I've become the new John, you know, um, I, so <clears throat> I didn't have the crazy hours of a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, and I was working at this deli and beginning <clears throat> to run and, and, be sober and be healthy and became a runner if you will and um and so i had the the help but i i wasn't running the place i just worked 30 yeah to 40 yeah. hours a week so so i had a schedule i could eat healthy i was running and everything was good and then i became a machinist and you know i ate on a schedule i my whole life was on a schedule i was very healthy i went to the gym and now I find I don't have a schedule. I'm back to being in the kitchen world, but it's more than a 40 hour a week job. And there's a lot more to it. And I'm finding my health is starting to go already. And it's only mm. been three months. Yeah. So I have to take a hold of that and get back to that because it's going to really affect me in the long run. Like I, I, I do want yeah. to. Yeah. Well, and that's, a, and that's a, you know, and that's a great story. So, uh, because I think that, we all need to, you know, you found a place that you could go that you enjoyed what you were doing, but yet you didn't have the stress that would trigger some other things for yeah. you. So finding that balance, now um, but that. now finding yeah. new balance in, in, in really understanding that this is great, but I also, you have to put yourself first yeah. so that you can then take care of all of the other stuff. Exactly. And, uh, so and then, I got to get that back to that stress relief. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Finding that time to, 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 to do that for yourself, yeah. you know, it's just, it's, is critical. Not that it's going to go anywhere, but it, it just allows for you to wake up and feel the best way possible. Yeah. And I was talking, <laughs> probably, you know, last week, I think I just don't feel healthy anymore you know i used to eat, yeah i used to eat really healthy and like the meals that i make now is what i would eat for dinner because i cooked every dinner at home and then i'd bring my lunch whatever we ate the night before yeah. and now i you know i'm on my feet all day i just might grab a half a sandwich throughout the day 
and it's just I'm not eating the foods that I used that I cook yeah. for people to eat healthy. <laughs> it's you know, there, but. yeah, but you know, and I'm sure there's a way to just figure out, you know, even with this kind of crazy, hectic life that you're leading now, which is great because it's all what you were looking for. But how do you work in a little schedule for yourself to exactly. say, okay, regardless of what's happening, I know that I'm busy right around this time. So, you know, work in the eating and all of that stuff kind of around that so yeah. that, you know, when that's over, you can take a break. And also make sure- always found that exercise, eating healthy and drinking water go hand in hand. So when it I is- don't do A, I don't do B. I, it's just... Well, because it's like, oh, well, I'm not working out. So let me stop drinking water. I'm not. And, and, and it's easier to not eat well because you're just like, ah, whatever. I'm not working out right now or I'm not taking. And so it it is a very slippery slope that all of a sudden, three months later, we find ourselves like, man, I don't feel great. And then it's just like, well, I haven't been doing any of the things that I know allow me to feel good. And, exactly. and, uh, and I, you know, that's where I'm at right now, truthfully, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, and, I'm putting down my best foot and uh, I'm gonna start start working out soon. Yeah, well, I'm, even if it, you know, even if it's a half hour walk, it's like, yeah. okay, well, you're still intentional and that doesn't allow the other stuff to slip because yeah. it's like, when we start to lose that intention, that's when all of a sudden things fall off. And, and, and this is the best scenario, like, because it's like, you're building a business. So it's easy to let one part go, because it's like, I've got so much that I need to focus on. But it really won't take much to just kind of dial that in and bring yourself right back into that place. For me right now, things are starting to level off, things are getting easier here. You know, we're, we've got the kitchen under control. Like my help is all great. They all do what they need to do. So I, I'm learning the the backside of things. So that was all new to me, the business part of it. And that stress yeah. out and I'm learning all that stuff now. So now I feel like I could take a little bit of a, a breather. And when I get home from work, I, I can work out like, I, you know, I'm not, you know, at first, I'll be honest, I was just tired when I got well, home. Well, you know, you're exhausted. You're yeah. on your feet all day. You're thinking. You're, you and know, it like. started you're... two weeks before Christmas, so it was winter. So, what, <laughs> yeah. what like, you know, to work out when it's dark out and, and outside in the cold with the, you know, I don't go to the gym anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So we have yeah. everything at home to work out. And so now that it's nice, I'll we'll get back to the backyard. And- well, and that's what, you know, as soon as the weather broke, I just took my rower and I went out on the back deck and I row for an hour every day. And that's just my therapy, right? Yeah. Like that's my, that's my headspace because it allows me to maintain this kind of just consistency for myself yeah. that I, that I love. And it's an outlet both physically and mentally. Um, and then the nice weather comes in and it's just, it feels so good to, to row in the sun for an hour outside every day. Like, you know, yeah, but you just have to figure out the time, but you know, it sounds like you're, you're, you're managing that, uh, you know, kind of more and more, which is, which is great. Um, you know, I, uh, uh, I'm a big advocate of everything that you've, uh, uh, that you've done for yourself. I know that it's been a, a road. Uh, but you know, we all have those roads. We all have kind of those points in our life and it's just a matter of what we do with it. And you've yeah. done an amazing job with it and are continuing to do an amazing job with it. Yeah, I'm, uh, sure. I wouldn't you know, be, you know, where I am today had I not done the things I've done in my past to make me who I am, you know? Well, you know, we learn things along the way and, and it doesn't define us, right? It's a moment of time. It's not, you know, it's not something that has to define our future. And, uh, you know, we get to make those choices regardless of what's happened. And, uh, I, uh, um, I'm really excited for you in this, in this business venture. Uh, I'm excited just because it's great food and I know that there's some amazing things to, uh, to continue to come from it. So, uh, really excited for you, my friend. Thank you. I just want to get through the first year. Yeah. Maybe see a profit, you know, a little bit. Um, yes, I want to get back into the gyms really bad with my meals. That's, uh, kind of a priority at this point. I'm trying to get a walk-in cooler so I can do that. 
Um, cause I'm in a pickle right now. I can't really grow my business without getting refrigeration. So yeah, yeah, I mean, that, yeah. that's really it. You know, I, I, um, I want to be a big part of this community. So I sponsored a baseball team and I like to get my name out there. Um, do what I can to support the, the young ones in the community. Cause, uh, like even, you know, it's weird. Like I, I got two kids they are my dishwashers slash delivery guys slash deli slicers. And I am completely jealous of the life that they live. They're both <laughs> they're not raging alcoholics. They're not drug addicts. They drink and that's fine, but they, they enjoy their life. They do fun things every day. Like, and I'm just jealous. I wish I had had that, that kind of mentality back then to be smarter than and, and go down a different path. But you know path. what? Hey, we, you know, we're all on a journey and, yeah. uh, you know, this has led you to where you are now. It, and, it, you know, yeah. and I'm a big fan of gratitude, right? Like I'm not ashamed of anything that that's, that's happened in my past. I'm only grateful for where I am right now and, uh, you know, the future that's to come, right? Like, and so, oh. You know, it's an amazing experience to be able to continue to learn and grow. And Jonathan, that's exactly what you continue to do, which is amazing. And, you know, you have, uh, you know, pushed yourself in a direction for your, which is, which is awesome. I, uh, uh, I'm super excited to, to see where this business goes over the next few years for yourself and, and, and beyond. So uh, congratulations for all the success. I know it's early and I know that there's a lot, uh, you know, on the horizon for any business in the first year, but um, I know you've got a ton of support in the community and a ton of friends that uh, are all looking to see this succeed for you and uh, the food speaks for itself. So yeah, sure. if folks haven't tried it, uh, I encourage everyone, maybe you can just share a little bit about, you know, where they are, hours, things like that. Um, yeah, it's uh, Joey's Deli Market. We're on Springfield Street in Feeding Hills. Uh, we're joeysdelimarket.com and you can find us on Facebook, Joey's Deli and Market and Twitter and all the other ones. Um, I just know Facebook. That's all I know how to yeah. work. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I, I hope to see you all here because um, we do, we serve some great sandwiches and a lot of healthy and not so healthy meals. Um, 